to another redstone tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this thing right here, a 2x2 two two aquarium door. Now this aquarium door doesn't have any fish in it because if you want fish in it, it has to be absolutely massive because um, you've got to have uh, uh, block swappers with some soul sand, got to come up, then it's got to close and all the timings are difficult. This is just a very, very simple build for those small bases that you want an aquarium door on. Uh, it's super, super simple. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how to do the actual build and then I'm going to show you um, like this stuff here that you're going to need to hide based on what your base is like. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, begin the building process. So first thing you want to do is place down an observer and a block and then on that block place one bit of redstone then next to that we're going to place some pistons and then one block in front of that place down some glass like this just so you know where to place your next piston then you're going to place your pistons here and then here there you are uh, and then once again okay in the middle so observer he sorry I'm not very good with my scroller yet block and then redstone dust there you go um, and then I'm going to place redstone dust behind that same over here, redstone dust behind that. And it should have picked up all of your glass. And then this will toss your glass. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Or next what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your dispensers. Place one there and one there. Same on this side, one there and one there and then I also need to get that one to fire and grab not push um, so as you can see this is in the closed position so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to update it but I don't want to break that um, I'm gonna have to break that and then over here break it once more and then fill these up with one water bucket there we go I don't know why I have so many in my inventory but I do probably because I think it might break there you go uh, so now we need to kind of connect these okay um, I knew that was going to happen but I sort of didn't put it through my head. So we need to connect that up again. Here. Perfect, there we go. So you should see that they have both uh, fired off. Um, and then you need to, according to how your base is, kind of connect these wires together. Now, as I'm in a redstone testing world and it doesn't really matter how these are connected together, I'm going to connect it here. Uh, and then you want a repeater going into that, because if you don't, the observer will detect different um, strength of the redstone signal, so it'll be firing off lots. Uh, then what you want to do is, behind that, we're going to place a comparator facing this way and a comparator facing that way to redstone dust if you can there we go and then two more back here cool uh, and then we're actually to make the pulse length longer going to place a block there instead and then your two pressure plates now you'll hide this according to how your base is 
you can have that. Why am I pointing at the screen? Who can't see the screen? You can have it over this side or over this side, your pulse extender, depending on how um, you have your base set up. Anyway, and that should be it. Yes, there you are. You have a 2x2 two two aquarium door. Now, of course, you'd need to do the same thing over this side. Get the two redstones and sort of connect them together. And then, of course, you'd hide this according to how your base is set up. Uh, so I need two comparatives, one there, one there, block there, redstone dust here and here, and here. And then two pressure plates. So what you would do if this was um, underground is you'd have your redstone like this, and then you'd have blocks on top of that with the pressure plates on. Just so you know how to do that. Alright, so now this should do the same thing. Yeah. And then you have plenty of time to do it. If you think you have too much time to get through, but I think that's the right amount of time, just break and replace that block with some redstone, and then it will be less time. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that is how you do it. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.